Live from downtown Detroit, Local 4 News at Noon starts now. Winter weather advisories covering all of Metro Detroit, and you're going to really want to plan ahead for this one as we are preparing for freezing rain and snow showers. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for joining us here on this Monday. And when we say freezing rain, that's the biggest concern. Yeah, this is one of those that I feel like we're getting the sense. Uh, one of those, if you don't have to travel when this hits, you do not want to. Let's bring in Ashley Barrissey, who's been kind of tracking this and laying out hour by hour when this is going to hit, Ash. Yeah, so when we talk about this system or storm that's heading our way, we're not talking about a massive snowstorm, even though we'll pick up some accumulation up into the thumb. This uh, has everything to do with icy precipitation from freezing rain to a wintry mix and even some sleet. And that's what we have to contend with starting as early as this evening, but definitely becoming more widespread early tomorrow morning before you wake up. So the winter weather advisory has already been issued for all of southeastern Michigan. It goes into effect at 7 p.m. for the heart of the metro area along and south of M59. But up into the Thumb region, this will go into effect at midnight. All of these counties will be under the advisory until 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. So the weather story, we already see a few flakes flying, but the snow will continue to develop this afternoon. In fact, I won't rule out a little patchy mix as we get into the evening hours, but a better chance as we head into overnight for freezing rain and sleet to mix in, and that's going to give us a really icy morning commute tomorrow. I'm not going to be shocked if we see more school closings out of this. So this evening and going into tomorrow, forewarned weather alerts, you can see that mix down to our southwest. Quick little look, though, at exact track 4D, where we have a little break in the snow. We're going to plan out the rest of your evening for you and look ahead to tomorrow hour by hour in just a few minutes. All right, Ashley, thank you. Just into our newsroom jury selection for Jennifer Crumbly is going to begin tomorrow. The trial for her husband, James Crumbly, will begin March 5th. The parents of the Oxford High School shooter are being tried separately for manslaughter. We will be following both trials closely and have extended coverage on Local 4 Plus and online. We'll also break down this week's trial in our later editions of Local 4 News today. The city still riding high this noon, as is the entire state of Michigan, as your Detroit Lions are headed to the NFC Championship. And Lions fans all across the country, they're dotted everywhere. The Lions were able to take down the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, led by Jared Goff, Jameer Gibbs, and some timely defensive plays. Yeah, they really were. Derek Barnes would supply the biggest with a game ceiling interception. Late in the game to give the Lions the 31-23 win, a back-and-forth affair that went right down to the wire. And here's that interception that would send the Lions on <laughs> to the next round. And uh, he got the game ball in the locker room. Love y'all boys, man. Uh, from the support in the linebacker room, the coaches, staff, organization, offense, man. Uh, three years, man. It took me three years to get the first interception. But... Uh, it, it, <laughs> But it, mean, it means more because the people who believed in me. Oh, wow. And it was the biggest interception of his career. Maybe the first, but it will be hard to match He'll as we look ahead. That. You better believe it. Uh, also, uh, a big change just in. The Lions, as they are preparing to head out west and take on the San Francisco 49ers in that M NFC Championship game, they just added a new tight end to the team. This is interesting. Yeah. I didn't hear anything about any injuries, so you don't know what uh, prompted right. this. But we learned just about an hour ago the Lions have signed three-time Pro Bowl tight end Zach Ertz, Super Bowl winning tight end with the Eagles. Uh, he's signed to the practice squad and there is a chance he could be moved up and play in this Sunday's NFC championship game. So we'll maybe that Super Bowl experience is something they want in the locker room. Can't hurt. Yeah. We'll see what happens there. Lions fans keep hitting new highs of excitement <laughs> each week though. That's for sure. Oh, talk about one pride. The Lions pride is alive and bigger than we have ever seen. Sean Lay soaking it all in from last night. The huge win and of course the course of the surge for more swag at Sports Zone in Livonia. This is the first place I wanted to come, Pro Sports Zone Livonia, knowing it would be absolutely crowded. We walked in the door, maybe at 11.15 today, there was a line here. Lions fans absolutely so fired up. They're coming here to snap up everything they can with any Lions logo on it, anything like that. As they're shopping, they're telling me some are looking for flights, reasonable flights that they can find them to Orange County, up to San Francisco, over to Santa Cruz, uh, that kind of thing, or Santa Clara, I should say. Uh, and then the other thing is, guys, if suddenly look at this, uh, back, way back when, uh, 
doing, I've been doing the news for so long. They would say, people would say, you know, cover the sports, cover the team, don't put the stuff on, don't root for the team. That's not going to happen. This is unbelievable. Uh, minds were blowing last night. NFC Championship game. John Yu owns Pro Sports Zone. John, we talked to you a lot, and you said you've prepared almost your entire career here, keeping the store running for this very thing. The, the, you knew the Lions were going to get like this at some point. Oh, absolutely. I mean, man, I opened my business 2008. I've been down to the 2 and 14, 0 and 16, and man, it's been a long time coming. Are you tired at all? I mean, this is what you this is what you live for, and you've got people coming in and out nonstop. Oh, absolutely. I mean, as soon as we open this morning, the the phone is off the hook and people are rushing in and anything with the Lions logo and also the Amara Sam Brown t-shirt. Hey, yep. you're, you're the only one that has this one. Yes, right? we have yeah. exclusive deal for the Sun God uh, brand. I mean, it's we have all the different types. Boy, uh, good stuff and such a popular player, such a great line like that. John, we'll get with you in just a moment uh, as we work here. But guys, uh, here's the deal. John has been doing this for a very long time. And this is what he's been really working towards the whole time. Now, he talked about Amara St. Brown. His mom was just here. She had friends in from Germany uh, for the game. We just had a conversation with her. And, guys, the biggest thing was I wanted to ask her, when the ball was in the air for that, this, that dagger touchdown in the corner of the end zone, what she was thinking is that ball. you got to hear her response coming up. We'll be here at 4 and 5 o'clock. Back to you guys. <laughs> Son, you better catch it. <laughs> All right. She knew. Good stuff, Pro Sean. Sports Zone in Livonia. And you got to know, they didn't always have an entire wing for Lions gear. Right. They just <laughs> feel feel, like that. They added more space for that. Feel great for all these merchandisers who've been I waiting know. years for the Lions. Yeah. You know, they've been saying that. If the Lions are ever awesome, this place <laughs> is going to go nuts. And, and it, is. it is. Ford Field hosting a watch party for the NFC Championship game, by the way, as the Lions will take on the Niners. Uh, yes, it'll be a lot cheaper than flying out west. <laughs> <laughs> Tickets go on sale in just a few hours. In fact, at 3 o'clock this afternoon, pre-sale is already live for Lions loyal members. The team will show the game on all the video boards and display screens inside of the stadium. Of course, you get to take advantage of the concessions and all that stuff, too. So that'd be a fun place to watch the it's party. It's a fun experience. I said watch the party. <laughs> watch it's the a watch, watch party. party. <laughs> well, watch the party. Watch hopefully the it's a party that we're watching. You watch the game, too, hopefully. <laughs> uh, by the way, more good Lions news. If in, Just in case you need an afternoon boost, Sabbath Coffee Roasters is giving away free coffee all day in celebration of the Lions win yesterday. The cafe is on 14 Mile and Clawson. And don't be paranoid about Sabbath. This is legit. <laughs> this is legit. And we called them this morning just to make sure. Like, you sure you want to do, you know, you make this decision yeah. in the heat of the moment. We're put it on TV. <laughs> Yes, they are offering free drinks all day. And while you're there, you can also grab yourself the bag of their Villain Coffee Blend, which offers tasting notes of kneecaps and grit. Yes, it's got a, an aroma of yes, despair. Yes, it'll perk you right up. For the opponents. You'll be able to conquer the world. <laughs> In other news this afternoon, Michigan's redistricting commission meeting this week to redraw several voting maps struck down by a panel of federal judges. Those judges ruled the maps for 13 Metro Detroit State House and Senate seats violated the Equal Rights Act. Two special masters then appointed to help out with this process. Now, the meetings today and Tuesday will be at Huntington Place. Then Wednesday through Friday, commissioners will be at Cadillac Place. A deadly crash under investigation on Detroit's east side. Sky 4 was over it earlier today before 8 this morning. This happened on Connor between Gratiot and Harper. Police say one person was killed and two kids were taken to the hospital to be checked out. Investigators still trying to figure out what caused this crash.